Hi, you crafters. Today I have a stencil and emboss note card to share with you. So let's jump right in. Now this fabulous stencil is called Circle Tree. It is an older stencil in the shop at A Colorful Life Designs that is a small woman-owned business in Texas. And I have a coupon AmyFan10 if you shop and you'll save 10% on your complete order. Now I showed you an embossing folder and here are a couple photos of the finished card. This came together in a snap and it is super so pretty. I love the deep rich colors. I love the little details with um, the die cutting on the edge of the panel and the texture from the embossing folder and obviously the stencil is just gorgeous. So this came together really quickly. Um, you can see here I'm just cutting down a panel with this stitched edge die. This is from LDRS which is another small business um, in Michigan and I'm just going to kick this stencil off to the left side of the composition. So you can absolutely center this. You can see it does it would pretty much cover a full um, A2 size card front, but I like some white space and I like some visual interest, so I kind of kick it off to the side. And I'm gonna use this two inch post tape, post-it note tape, just to kind of mask off the top. And I have my magnets to hold down the whole shebang on my glass mat. Now I'm grabbing a couple colors. I have suede shoes, all that jazz, and Mardi Gras, which are mini ink pads from Catherine Pooler. And I have my blending brushes from the Rabbit Hole Designs. So I'm going to come in really saturated in color guys a lot of times you'll see I work with just kind of the residual ink on my blending brush but I wanted very very deep saturated color with the contrasting white crisp um, background so I am not holding back here I'm pushing really hard and I'm using a lot of ink here so I want it to be really um, pigmented and deep in color. So I don't actually have pixie spray on this. I kind of gauge um, when I use pixie spray based on the stencil. Now you can see all the connection points from this tree are kind of small. So even though it's very detailed and looking like it's delicate, it's actually really solid and not going to move around on you. So if you have the means to hold it down with like a glass mat like I have here, um, those little fine lines aren't going to shift around on you. So I did just fine on this with no issue at all um, not using pixie spray. Now if you feel more comfortable with pixie spray or a temporary fixative that's totally fine but like I said in this case because those connection points are so solid um, I didn't feel that I really needed it. So now I'm going to add the next level of interest into this card and I'm going to pop this panel into the um, diamond I forgot the name of it. Oh, Diamond Stars. This is a really cool, kind of new to me, um, embossing folder from all to new. And I ran that through off screen through my die cutting machine. Now this is my book for my sentiment strips. So these are all um, another LDRS creative product here. All of these little strips are basically you get like one theme stamp. So maybe like thank, thank yous. And it'll have I don't know, 10 maybe sentiments on this one solid stamp. So you stamp it once and then you buy the coordinating die that works with all of these stamps and then it cuts them all out in one go. Now you can't really see here, but you're about to see some magic. Um, I actually white heat embossed on a white strip and then I die cut it out, and then I set it in my storage book to be able to customize it as you see here. So this is a resist technique. So you emboss either clear or white on a white um, piece of cardstock, and then you can custom color it to whatever you need. So I'm using that suede shoes and really saturating this little um, sentiment strip, and then wiping off the excess with my paper towel. And now I have a custom colored sentiment strip that perfectly matches the front of the card. So I'm just using some tape runner and I'm going to put this down right on my card base. This is a 120 pound accent opaque. That's the same thing that I used for the card panel. And you can see with that die cutting it gives it kind of a nice white border. So you could color the border if you don't like all that white space. but. You guys know me, I like I like the white space. And then instead of putting it on the front of the card and trying to figure out where it worked in the composition, I decided to leave it 
blank on the front in terms of a sentiment and then pop that on the inside of the card. So I'm just gonna wipe it off again just to make sure there's no extra ink sitting on top of that um, embossing. And I'm going to finish the card with these little resin droplets. So um, I have these linked below with any of the other products that I used. And I'm just going to drop down some little blobs of liquid glue. I didn't actually intend for them to be there in that little cluster on the right kind of dripped out of the bottle, but you go with it, right? You make it work. <laughs> and I'm using my jewel picker to lay down these resin droplets all along the front of the card. And that's going to finish my design. So I absolutely love combining my beloved stencils from a colorful life designs with my beloved embossing folders. It's one of my favorite techniques. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. Like I said, I will link everything in the video description box below. If you check out this amazing stencil, use my coupon to save some loot, Amy Fan 10 and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.